Well, <laughs> folks, it seems that um, Disney. It seems that Disney is going to be sued into the ground by their investors if they're smart, or if those investors are smart. Because this sort of business model is not good for any sort of investor. Welcome back, everybody. It's your pal Orange Hat here, here to bring you another video on Disney. So, Nolte from Breitbart, Disney report warns investors social goals take priority over profits. I would sue Disney. I would sue them into the ground. And if I was any of these investors, I would also drop their, or I would drop my investments. I would sue them for fiduciary breach of contract. You are not in the business of making our, our, your investors money. You are instead trying to push a bullshit social goal that nobody likes anymore. But let's get into it. The Disney Grooming Syndicate you know, that's actually quite um, accurate. Annual SEC report tried to bury its foundational problems in the word salad of all word salads. Thankfully, that park place saw right through it. The key takeaway from the report is that Disney, as required by law in these filings, is warning investors that its social goals are more important than profits. There is in such things a statement of the various risk factors that the company may encounter, explains that park place, all in the obligatory legal way to avoid people later saying you never warned us about this. In other words, in this annual report, Disney must warn stockholders and potential stockholders of the risks these inve or investors are accepting if they hold or choose to purchase ailing Disney stock. Here's a key takeaway hidden within the pile of Disney's corporate speak, emphasis mine. We face risking or we face risks relating to misalignment with public and consumer tastes and preference for entertainment, travel and consumer products, which impact demand for our estimated off or entertainment offerings and product and profitability of any of our businesses. Our businesses create entertainment, travel, and consumer products whose success depends substantially on consumer tastes and preferences that change in often unpredictable ways. Except here is the thing. They are saying that they have to match what the consumer wants. And yet the consumers are constantly saying, we don't want this bullshit agenda that you're pushing. That's why they're losing money. The success of our business depends on our ability to consistently create compelling content. You're not doing that. Which may be distributed, among other ways, through broadcast, cable theaters, internet, or mobile technology, and used in theme park attractions, hotels, and other resort facilities, and travel experiences, and consumer products. Such distribution must meet the changing preferences of the broad consumer market. Except here's the thing. All those people who are screaming that they want to see men in dresses and their kids getting sexualized are very few and far between. They literally number in the not even tens of thousands, but thousands, where you are pissing off millions of people by going against what they want. You are literally catering to the minority in number. And that is the worst business model you could ever cater to. So, um, let's see here, where was I? Right, such distribution must meet the changing preferences of the consumer market in response to competition from expanding array of choices facilitated by technological developments in the delivery of content. That success of our theme parks, resorts, cruise ships, and experiences, as well as our theatrical releases, depends on a demand for public or out-of-home entertainment experiences. And they all suck when it comes to Disney. 
You are literally dividing people and calling the people who don't agree with your content racist and bigoted. Not a good business model. Demand for certain home-to-home -home experiences or out-of-home -home experiences such as theater going to watch movies has not returned to pre-pandemic levels. In addition, many of our businesses increasingly depend on acceptance of our offerings and products by consumers outside of the U.S. So basically, suck China's dick and hope for the best. Uh, pardon for being so blunt, folks, but that is their business model because China has a big stake in Disney's company. The success of our business, therefore, depends on our ability to successfully predict and adapt to changing consumer tastes. Again, you're not doing it right. And preferences outside as well as inside the U.S. Moreover, we must often invest substantial amounts in content production and acquisition. Acquisition of sports rights, launch of new sports-related studio programming, theme park attractions, cruise ships or hotels and other facilities or customers facing platforms before we know the extent of which these products will earn consumer acceptance and if you have paid attention to your last like what uh four fiscal years you would learn that your or er, consumer acceptance is way down that's why you got that guy coming into your board basically saying we're going to need multiple people on your board and we're going to course correct you because your current business model sucks and these products may be introduced into a significantly different market or economic social climate from the one we anticipated at the time of the investment decisions generally our revenues and profitability are adversely impacted when our entertainment offerings and products as well as our methods to make our offerings and products available to consumers do not achieve sufficient consumer acceptance further consumers perceptions and or of our positions on matters of public interest include or including our efforts to achieve a certain or to achieve certain of our environmental and social goals often differ widely and presents risks to our reputation and brands. So yeah, they don't care that they are tanking their brand. They only care that they're pushing the agenda. Sexualizing kids. Getting rid of white people in their um, entertainment. Folks, the contracts were outed last year. That if you uh, rat out any conservatives or whites conservatives from your company and if you are are a uh, person of color a poc you will get perks and advancement in your career at disney those were actually things that were part of their freaking uh contracts for working there that isn't a joke read the above bolded part again then read what's below where Disney admits there's a massive price to pay for alienating more than half the country with its promotion towards small children of homosexuality, transsexuality, and various adult sexual fetishes. Consumer tastes and preferences impact, among other items, revenue from advertising sales, which are based in part of ratings for programs in which advertisements air affiliate fees, subscription fees, theatrical film receipts, the license of rights to other distributors, theme parks admissions, hotel room charges, and merchandise, food and beverages sales, sales of licensed consumer products, or sales of our other consumer products and services. Folks, that's Disney basically saying, as we continue to push this failing agenda, your prices are going to go up to the point where you won't even be able to afford a single night at a Disney hotel. They're not 
caring anymore about profits, as it has been clearly stated. Well, not so clearly because of that huge word salad. But the bulk of it is, we do not care about your thoughts. We do not care, or we only care about pushing our thoughts. And we don't give a shit if we lose money for it. They think they are too big to fail. We need to start speaking with our wallets and make or starve them of profits to the point where they understand that what they did was the biggest mistake ever. And then, dare I say it, we need to go farther by allowing Disney to fail completely. Unfortunately, they are monopolizing a lot of entertainment. And they have the whole Disney princess and little girl thing on their side. They just, and they own a lot of the big names of entertainment, which is Marvel, Spider-Man, D, or and all them too. Plus they own the media. They have ABC media under their freaking thumb. That is the Disney's grooming syndicate admitting, one, we recognize that our far left social and political agenda has damaged our company's reputation and profits, and two, we have no intention of changing. You've been warned, suckers. That is it in a nutshell. A few more takeaways from the FC or SEC filing found by that park place. The decline in domestic advertising revenue was due to a decrease of 14% from fewer impressions reflecting lower average viewership, partially offset by an increase of 7% from higher rates. So, yeah, we lost a lot of money, but we're making it up by jacking prices up. Disney saw a 14% double-digit decrease in impressions, which is viewership. Here, or here's where Disney admits its theatrical flops affect every part of its business. Upon a film's release and determination of the theatrical performance, the company's estimate, or estimates of revenues from succeeding windows and markets, which may include imputed license fees for content that is used on our DTC streaming services, that revi or are revised based on historical relationships and analysis of current market trends. So, yeah, they basically, this year alone, have lost $2 billion in movie failures. They lost $2 billion, again, $2 billion in movie failures. That is the estimate that they have lost. It's guaranteed to have lost over $1.5 billion so far. But the estimates are growing up to at least $2 billion. And they're not going to change. You need to freaking start getting your kids to value the older model of Disney. The older movies and whatnot. Instead of supporting this new stuff. In fact, you should probably cancel your, subs or your yearly subscriptions to Disney. You should probably cancel your Disney Plus subscriptions. I know I might if the prices go up any higher. I'll completely cancel it out. But yeah, um, I ain't getting into it. Or Disney is completely going against the will of the people who are investing into their uh, company. So the Disney magic starts with movies. Without iconic movies, the rest of the company suffers. It's the movie experience that nudges people to want to recapture that experience at a Disney hotel, theme park, or cruise line. I've never did. All of Disney sh movies are suck right now. To the point where I would never want to take, if I ever, or if I had kids, I would never want to take them to Disney. Especially if there are men in dresses waiting at the greeting lines to greet them. No, I would want them to experience the magic that I felt in the 90s when I went to Disney World. However, that doesn't exist anymore because now they're pushing sexualized stuff onto kids. LGBTQ flags all over the freaking park that you get to uh, stand next to and whatnot. Men in dresses. 
saying, oh, I'm a Disney princess. That's disgusting. Um, if the movies tank, it sours the brand. And right now, Disney movies are tanking one after the other. But that's what happens when a brand built on protecting the innocence of children embraces the social goal of deliberately violating that innocence with drag, drag queens, transvestites, homosexuality, and transsexuals. Disney tried to bury the following bombshell using a lot of dull words, but it's still a bombshell. The decrease in licensing revenue was due to lower sales of merchandise based on Star Wars, Frozen, Toy Story, and Mickey and Friends. Mickey, Star Wars, Toy Story are three of the greatest brands in American history. Those bottom line brands, legacy brands, Golden Geese, are that have never stopped producing. For nearly 100 years, Mickey Mouse was infallible. For more than 40 years, Star Wars was infallible. For nearly 30 years, Toy Story was infallible. But Disney's despicable and evil social goals, I completely agree with that, evil social goals, now appear to be damaging three of the most universally or universal and beloved brands ever created. But regardless of this reputation and monetary fallout, the Disney Grooming Syndicate intends to put its environmental and social goals before profits. You dumb Disney investors can't say you weren't warned. And I'm just reading from the article, but I agree with it. They were warned, so I'm sorry. If you're an investor, pull your damn money out. If you don't want to lose money, get out of the freaking business. Tell them we are pulling all of our assets from your business because you suck. That is the... Dis, people who go to Disney World right now are knowingly putting their own children in danger if they are aware of the decline that is Disney. And yet they will take their kids there because they want them to have some sort of entertainment. I'm sorry, but there's much better places. Go to Great Escape in New York. Go to freaking Darien Lake. Six Flags. Any place but Disney. Because when it comes to Disney, all they want to do is sexually freaking indoctrinate your kids. They want you to say that all oh, this stuff is acceptable. When it's not, kids should be innocent until they are able to fully process and fully comprehend the sexualized content. And that doesn't happen until they are young to, or to young adults to adults. Learning about it at 13, which is like sex ed in school when I learned it, is fine because you understand the dangers of it. Now, sure, there will be experimentation. That part I don't agree with. I mean, if I was a parent, I wouldn't want my kid freaking screwing around until they were at least old enough to recognize the dangers and the consequences of that behavior. But this stuff where Disney is saying, we want to push an agenda, and that's going to harm our profits. That is the worst business model I have ever seen. And it is downright evil. And if you take your kids to Disney, that is your choice. But you are knowingly endangering the welfare of your child by doing so. Because they are going to be exposed to things that are dangerous to a child's mental growth. Their ability to process things that they're not ready to process will be completely damaged. And they don't care. Disney doesn't care. They want to damage your child. They want to sexually exploit your child. Look at all those uh, Florida sexual predator stings that they are doing down in Florida. Almost every one of them has a Disney employee freaking caught up in it. I did a video three years ago where an alleged pedophile working for Disney, or where actually a pedophile working for Disney, was moved to a different freaking... Uh, division to protect them so they might offend again. And yet, people still want to go to Disney World. 
it is absolutely disgusting for people wanting to go to Disneyland and Disney World. I'm sorry, folks. That is my opinion. If you want to take somebody to Disney, you are knowingly going and supporting an agenda that is leading to the decay of society. That wants to harm the future generations of humanity. At this point, supporting Disney is knowingly supporting evil. That's me being blunt, folks, and I will always be blunt on my channel. But anyway, that is going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think that uh, Disney needs to learn with empty wallets? Or do you think that it is about time that maybe they need to be burnt to the ground? I'm not condoning any violence, by the way. But I'm talking about financially. They need to be brought low. What do you think, folks? Share all your thoughts. Different opinions are welcome as long as they are respectful. This has been Orange Hat. Y'all have a wonderful day and stay humble.